indoors at the first floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum in two strokes and indoors just don't go good together. But what does go good together is a classic, gorgeous Yamaha Christmas trees. Best Christmas I ever had in my entire life. 1971, six years old. All the presents are open. My dad said he'd get us a dirt bike in the spring when he got his tax return check. And uh, we were a little bummed because all he got was like socks and t-shirts. And he walks in the other room and rolls up with his gorgeous 1971 GT80. And my heart skipped a beat. And I've never been happier. And I've been chasing that feeling for the rest of my life, you know, uh, trying that feeling of getting a new dirt bike. It's just, just remarkable how much fun we had in that thing. But this belongs, this Yamaha belongs under someone's Christmas tree. This would be a present that would give years and years of fun. So let's hop off and tell the folks a little bit about this beauty. So can't promise you'll end up with a girlfriend as pretty as Chrissy if you get this Yamaha, but it won't hurt, that's for sure. Chicks love great dirt bikes. So, um, how was it? Was it comfy on the back there? It wasn't bad, considering I was sitting on the toolpath. Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if this bike looks familiar, folks, this is the bike that was a replica. Uh, I was told it was the bike, but I can't prove it, but that this is the actual bike that was in the Cycle World magazine in 1978. The uh, test that they did, this is a DG Yamaha IT175 test mule. It's loaded up with all the DG performance accessories. We just went through the whole bike. We bought this from our good friend Dom, who's owned it for many years, and he swears it is the DG IT175. We've done over $3,000 worth of work, uh, preservation and restoration uh, services to this bike. Starting at the front end, it's got a brand new Dunlop tire and tube. Uh, these are Yamaha IT175, the original force were dismantled, cleaned inside and out, the, the lowers are painted, the springs were um, reinstalled with new seals and uh, they are, has new oil in it. Obviously the forks are totally rebuilt. You can see the chrome on them is perfect. This piece right here, this, when we when Shane bought it, I was like, why did, I was a little upset. He paid $160 plus shipping for an original OEM Yamaha Shield. The original one was cracked right here and he's like, well, we want to make it perfect. So he bought a brand new original Yamaha OEM, $180. Uh, number plate, brand new Yamaha IT175 OEM front fender, brand new Ori grips. It's got a set of DG period correct gold bars, new levers on both sides and new Ori grips. Brand new replica DG graphics on the original tank, new side panels, it has the DG head on it. It's got the DG swing arm. This, folks, is the definition of unobtainium. Where are you gonna find a DG swing arm and a luft DG shock for a 70, 70s Yamaha IT175? I'll tell you where, nowhere except for here at the Ringling Motorcycle Museum. Show me where you can buy one today. And, uh, and if you can, buy it, because they're, they're excellent investments going up in value. Um, the original Yamaha exhaust is in mint condition. You can see the DG swing arm is in a beautiful original condition with the gold anodizing. We just put a brand new gold chain on it. It's got new sprockets on it, brand new roller on the, on the uh, um, chain slider. The, the chain guide's in beautiful shape. Brand new Dunlop tire on the rear. It's got the period correct Yamaha lightning bolt uh, seat cover with the extra uh, uh, extra tall seat foam, which is great. You got about six inches of travel just on the seat. Brand new Yamaha. This is not aftermarket. This is NOS Yamaha rear fender and uh, the uh, original Yamaha light on the back and the original Yamaha bag. The um, total on the work order was $2,754 before we bought a replacement set of Yamaha forks and rebuilt the fork. So we've got over $3,000 work order on this bike and it's turnkey, Kaplan America approved. This bike means nothing. This was in Dom's collection, his museum quality collection for many, many years. It has the original Yamaha headlight on it. It's just stunning. Uh, six speed transmission, two stroke, air cooled, long travel suspension front and rear. This would do well in any AHMRA event and could hold its own against the modern bikes in the woods. Junior, is anything you'd like to add about this stunning classic? Man, the uh, the ITs, the whole the whole series, they ran sky blue. Uh, what years? This is a '77 model. Yep, this is this is a, they, they were very similar. '77 and '78 were, were pretty much the same bike cosmetically. This is a '77, and I actually have here the actual ad, which you probably never find this uh, again. This is an actual ad from the magazine showing the total DG Enduro with the graphics, the swing arm. Just beautiful. The uh, the IT series 
from what I've seen, uh, over 2,000 motorcycles that we've auctioned off and just looking at the sales data, I've been obsessively looking at the classifieds and, and what these bikes are trading for. The Japanese on off-road bikes, the stuff that you can take out on the road and even re register in some states, these are the bikes that people can relate to. And I'll tell you what, um, when you're speaking on each series as a whole, the, the DT series and the IT series, the IT series is going to, um, well, carry more value, uh, historically speaking, than the strictly dirt counterparts. And that's coming from a guy who... who who's, well, uh, we are into racing off-road. Big time into off-road bikes. I mean, check our channel out. We're, I think I think at this point, uh, I would say we have more vintage dirt bike videos than any other channel on YouTube, anywhere in the world. That's what we've done. We've done over 2,000 vintage, mostly off-road bikes in the last five years. So certainly we're on the podium anyways. So we know what we're talking about. I've been riding and racing these bikes since I was a kid. There's a 17 hour work order before we bought the, the, the replacement original Yamaha IT-175 forces, another three hours of labor. So you have 20 hours of labor, just under $2,000 in parts. Um, the three, it's a $2,754 before we put the forks on, so over $3,000 invested in this classic. The, um, it has a new fuel filter. The uh, fuel line is new, new tires, man rim bands. Again, the new gold chain, new graphics, new front number plate, uh, new air filter, new reeds. Uh, everything's been gone through on the bike, front to back. So. If you're looking for an investment quality bike that you can ride and have fun that needs nothing, buy this bike. If you're looking for something to add to your 401k or a single employee pension plan, you can buy this bike tax-free as part of your investment portfolio because it is a classic bike that's listed in the as an as a antique. And the IRS allows classic cars and motorcycles to be added as part of your investment portfolio. Talk to your accountant or call us, we'll give you our accountant's number and he can explain it to you. So it's in front of our tree now. You still have time left to get it under your tree. Um, hit the buy it now button because this thing will not be on here for long. Uh, this this bike previously had a set of the um, Kayaba front forks on it, which I told everybody, hey, these, these forks are unobtainium. You can't get them anywhere. If this bike looks familiar, you've seen it in another video. Somebody offered us $2,500 for the aftermarket fork. So we sold the fork separately and put on a set of stock Yamaha IT-175 forks. To me, I actually like the looks of the stock forks better without the boots on it. But the, um, the aftermarket forks were, were worth an obscene amount of money. And somebody offered us almost $3,000. Uh, so we, we sold them. And uh, now I can sell this bike a little bit more affordably because a big portion of the investment we made into it was, was repaid. So Much lower entry cost to the buyer. Um, call us with any questions, uh, message us your zip code for a shipping quote. In the long haul, maybe be worth more with the stock forks on it, I don't know, but um, to me, it would seem like a no-brainer. Lower the price so people can afford this bike, because we had a reserve set at $62.50 on this bike previously. We can lower that now, so buy yourself the gift that keeps giving, Yamaha Classic Enduros. I rode these as a kid all the time. I had a 175 Yamaha when I was 15 years old, the, the uh, DT version, and rode the wheels off of that thing. So. I always mention, look at the bottom of the bike, not just the top, so come on in here, Junior. Give him a, give him a gander at the, uh, the skid plate on this thing's like brand new. There's not a single dent in it. Um, it's It's got a couple little nicks in it, as you expect from rocks coming up, but you can see it wasn't bashed off the rocks. Neither was the exhaust pipe. The original Yamaha pipe doesn't have a single ding in it. Hallmark of a well-preserved original. The foot pegs look brand new, they're not bent. The, um, the shifter's in perfect shape, as is the brake and all the rest of the components in the cases, engine cases, everything's mint on this bike. It's an investment quality classic. Hit the buy it now, it's gonna disappear. Good luck bidding on it. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, God bless America.